Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX and this Gothic Tool New Balance mod. Last time we left off in the uh, Orc Mine with the Orc City Quest Part 2. Today we're gonna go check the lower shaft and see what's up with that. What's what's going on there, what can we find and why the Orcs never check there in the first place. Uh, so we're gonna talk to the leader of these Orcs that are gonna accompany me. They're gonna give me an orcish key and we're also gonna get somebody else to join us and that is one of the orcs that's down here that we fought because he has a thirst for Wait battle will you hey man, he's not joking. So <laughs> then head okay. problem with this guy is that he uh he probably is gonna die because he's just a normal orc warrior i'm not sure if there's any way to prevent that or that we can just um you know make him stay at a certain point but i believe if he dies the quest fails anyway so i'm gonna see if there's a way that uh we can actually preserve his life and we'll see anyway we got the orc key from the leader the head of the uh the squad and we're gonna just click on this winch and then we're gonna go down and since i don't have any multiplier of speed here that i normally press with a Z. I have to wait and skip. Alright, we are down here in the lower shaft. If you want to continue with the uh, the quest, I think you just have to talk to the orc leader again. No, I think they just follow you. Yeah, they just follow you. Okay. Uh, but not all of them, apparently. I don't know what's up with that. Let me see. Hey. They should follow you. They just get stuck. Yeah, now they're following me. And I'm gonna get out my wisp. I am going to summon my crates. Let's see what can we do in down here. All these uh, guys are now my allies, but they can still die. They're not like Diego. We're gonna try and kill most of them before we get to the main uh, the main guy. So. We're actually just gonna go to the main guy. Otherwise, there's a lot of exploring that you can do here. A lot of exploring. And there's a lot of demons. You can get a lot of demon hearts here. Because there's a lot of demon uh, arch demons, normal demons. Even these servant sentinels. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> the only thing that I'm worried about is the um, the ghosts because ghosts are pretty much invulnerable. These guys don't have the weapons to kill them. So I'm probably just going to go directly towards where we need to go and I'm going to kill the rest myself. If these guys die during the boss fight, then that can, that can lead to other problems. But I think we can do most of it. Alright, there... They're clearing out some... I don't know what the fuck they're clearing. There's supposed to be a zombie that spawns here. I guess not, they're stuck now. Maybe that's for the better, I, just, I can just clear everything on my own now. You guys stay here, I'll be back, okay? <laughs> um... <laughs> there is a lot of uh, very strong enemies in here, but nothing we can handle. Especially with, with our dexterity and power. Let's see, that's a zombie. There's gonna be a lot of these down here. That's quite insane how many en enemies are down here. Oh look, a ghost. See, that's what I was worried about. They would die here anyway, so I have to equip my normal bow, go to holy arrows, and now I can uh, actually kill this thing. Otherwise, normal thing, uh, the maple bow doesn't work. The maple bow works very good on everything else, um, except ghosts. Like, I think on Ghost it does 100 damage or so. Just because it has magic uh, ore inscripted into the arrows. There you go. 
more zombies. There, there could be a quite a few chests here and there. And there's a lot of ore that you can mine here. Let me just show you. I think this one can be mined as well. No, this one no. Oh, this one's empty apparently. Uh, I think there, there's a special shaft that you can go to. These are all empty, unfortunately. Oh, this one isn't. There you go. 10 ore extracted. I already have 200. Uh, where was I going? Ah, yes, this way, right? Down there. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of clearing with these things. And there you go. That's one down. A hundred more to go, I guess. Uh, another dark servant over there. And a lot of spearmen. Is my crate unpassive? Yes, he's unpassive. That's why he's not doing anything. He's just standing there like a... I'm a good boy. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh. Now he's doing some damage. How about that? <laughs> good boy. Good boy. All right. Uh, right. Let's see. What else we got here? More, more on that. I just need to get to the place where uh, you kill the uh, you kill the guardian of the portal, and we also need to kill the demon that's uh, terrorizing the 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 orcs. I suppose you could say that. Okay, I think we're on the right track, actually. There we go. Another arch demon. We are getting quite a bit of uh, health regeneration at this point. It's kind of funny that these portals, they seem to be everywhere, but then you cannot really activate them. Let me see if there's anything up here of interest. Apparently not. Okay, I think this is the way for the guardian of the portal. His name is... Itusset, which is gonna be an interesting thing to see how much damage can we do to it. Okay, I wanna, I want my uh, pet to actually get the experience. So I'm gonna summon him again. I'm gonna put him on passive and up. Oh, I should probably equip my uh, spear. Normal spear. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, at least he's acting like a meat shield, right? Come on, just one more. There you go. Sorry, bro, you're not doing enough damage to kill my crate. Portal of the Orcish Mine, and you also get a few, a few things. Drawing of the Great Sentinel Armor. I think that's a thing we can actually make uh, for a scout, I believe. And this is one of the few things that you get here. It says Spear of the Stone. There are four spheres in total. Spear, spear of Stone, Spear of Water, Spear of Fire and sphere of darkness i believe and you get them in these various dungeons around the, the valley of mines and this is one of them and this is meant for the guardians uh quest i think the last one when you meet the head of the guardians okay so let's find the demon now let's see if we can uh, i can't remember which way to go but i will continue my search because this place is not that small, but it's not that big, either. I think there's another ghost over there. I'm gonna switch my bow right now. And see if I can do enough damage to... To... Kill all of these. Oh wow, one shot. Nice. Should make more holy arrows then. <laughs> Okay, okay. You guys are awesome. But not as awesome as this. Yeep. 
Maybe not. I need help. I need help. <laughs> Run away. Okay, we got some healing done. And our running is on point, so... Uh, okay, we got them all. Now we got them all. Now we can continue. I can only remember where to go to get that demon, though. Are the orcs still there? No, the orcs, I think they went back to the... Huh, no, they disappeared. They probably just went up there again or something. They, they teleported, because I cannot find them here. Uh, so that was the way to the guy. Then which way is to the uh, to the demon, the great demon? Let's see. Uh, we, we have been here before, haven't we? I think we have been here before. Have we been here before? We have been here before as well. Uh, this way. Oh yeah, this way. Sorry, this is the way that we were supposed to go. I think the orcs are already here and they're dead or something. Well, yep. They were already fighting the freaking uh, thing. The arch demon that everybody is so afraid of. Let me put him on passive again. I'm dodging. Where'd you go now? Disappeared! Why does he disappear? Let me see if I can fight him with my spear though. I can't remember. Attacking the shadow beast. <laughs> Sorry, bro, you're dead. Unfortunately, you are. And there you go. That's the um. Come on, bro. Move. Thank you. You get hand of demons, demonic blood, extract mana. So a lot of stuff you get here. And unfortunately, all of our orc friends are dead. Even uh. Urtak Shock that was here. Oh man, what a shame. There's nothing more to mine here, huh? So that's basically it. Let me check my log. Uh, I have destroyed the Ancient Evil. It's time to go back to Aldagar. So there's no teleport, so I have to go there the old fashioned way. And that's by going up here. It probably might be faster if... Right, that's weird. Alright, there you go. It would probably be faster if um, I went up there through teleport from the orc mine, uh, from the orc city. But it's fine too. Make sure you uh, unequip your summoning beast and equip also your Ulumulu. Otherwise, the orcs will attack you as soon as you get up there. <coughs> if you're wondering why the orcs didn't attack you when you were down there, it's because... Those were specific orders from uh, the orc leader. Uh, probably, uh, what's his name? I can't remember right now. I have my head everywhere. All right, we're here. We go talk to Aldegar, which is on a lower level than this. Uh huh. And we should get quite a bit of chunk of experience. The misery in the deep mind. If you don't believe it, there's no need. He just does him. It's nice. Now the orcs will once again, but why? And that's it. You can also go talk to uh, Ur, not Urkaras, the leader of orcs. I keep on Ultral, and he will give you the next step. I think to going to the either Shadow Realm or opening the Temple of the Sleeper. I think that's enough for this little short video. I go. I hope you guys understood what needs to be done in this place. You can also explore the. Uh, lower shaft a bit more which I'm going to do 
but there's nothing more much more down there than a lot of enemies a lot of a lot of magic ore and um a lot of loot that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video have a wonderful wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one